Yeah. Yeah, we back? Maybe. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, reconnection worked. So that was a not, that was a weird issue. That was like my USB devices all of a sudden like disconnected. Like my mouse stopped working too. That was, that was some weird glitch thing that happened on my PC. I had nothing to do with the past issues with internet or anything like that. My uh, Wi-Fi adapter is a USB Wi-Fi adapter. So if all of my peripherals suddenly disconnect, yeah. Smooth reconnect, yeah, cool. Yeah, that was weird. That was annoying. Hmm, interesting. Sorry about that, you guys. I don't know what happened, I mean, but like I said, like my keyboard stopped working, my mouse stopped working, I heard the ba doop ba -da doop like with all my USB, drive, my USB stuff disconnecting, I saw my external hard drive like disconnect for a brief second, so like literally everything that was USB connected suddenly DC'd and then came back. And that included my Wi-Fi adapter. So I had to like reconnect to the Wi-Fi. But it auto reconnected on its own. So that wasn't too bad. Yeah, we're not going to attack that ladybug. There's not enough room to attack that ladybug. It, it apparently doesn't want to charge us. And maybe maybe we need flatter area for the ladybug to feel the need to charge. Like a microscopic PC heart failure, heart failure. Yeah, like something like that. That was weird. But yeah, no way. If you're still there, what we've learned is that with the ladybugs, it is entirely possible to fight them without getting damage. If you perfect block each time, you are okay. So what we did was we were out by the pond, and um. You attack it, you back up, back up, back up, so that you're far enough away so that the ladybug does its charge attack. And when it charges, you just you have to time that one just right. You do have to time that one. But you time that one, you block, you do a perfect block, and then you have timed for one click of a hit. One hit, as soon as you hit, you immediately right-click to block again. And what happens is your block comes up with perfect timing to block their close range attack. And you have and you can repeat that basically over and over and over and over again. So it's like uh, click hit block, click hit block, click hit block, and every single block is a perfect block. Uh, so you don't do any damage until you kill it. But that but that um, that sequence must start with their charge attack from my experience. Is Squirrels and Me the only the only ones in here that play grounded? Uh, right now, Chameek, I think we are. Yes, right now, Chameek, I think we are. Did you start the game over, or you or just rebuild your house? Um, I did not start over. We're on day forty three in the game. I did not rebuild my house. I'm building a new location. So the the baseball where I built is over there. Um, we'll head there in just a hot minute. I'm waiting for, like, bombardier beetles to respawn. Or maybe the bombardier beetles won't respawn because I keep killing them. I don't know. There we go. Nighttime. Let's go sleep real quick. I'm ready to eat my pillow. I'm so tired. Okay. What do we have in our inventory? Not a whole heck of a lot. We've got to head back home. Let's do a quick save. Because why the heck not? Alright, let's go. Come on. I wish that I could put a sap collector right here. Like, that would be amazing. If I could put a sap collector right here, that would be gold for me. Where's my old house? There it is. Go, go, go.
All right, so here's our old house. Okay, a tip for you. There are 23 scab bees and about 7,000 in raw science points that you can get all around the map. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I've heard. I'm just like prioritizing different things, you know? Um, right now I've got, what, 4,000, almost 4,000 raw science. Mm. All right, so I need more of these, apparently, to finish my chests. Uh, we gotta drink this up. We gotta eat some foods. Oops. There we go. Um, we need... Man, we need more acorn shells real bad. Okay, so let me count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that it, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've got nine there. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That was, I guess, 15-ish. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Oh man, do I have enough chests like that over there? I don't know if I do. I don't know that I have that many. Um, I kind of want to go check. I've, we've got 21 labeled chests. Uh, 22 if you count that one. But we've got 21 labeled chests right now. Hmm. We needed sap. What else do we need? Um, acorn. We need more clovers. We need more clover leaves too. I mean, we could take all of these or we could just go hunt clovers. I feel like it makes more sense to hunt clovers. Yeah, we'll go, we'll grab a bunch of clover leaves, and then we'll go back to the new house again. And then, um... Yeah, like, I can't put... Oh, that fence, dude. Yeah, the fence isn't bad. The fence isn't bad. Um, let me try this again. Just for kicks and giggles. Let me just try it again. I don't think it'll work. No. I think it has to be, maybe. Yeah, it won't let me put it on there. Okay. Oh, a bunch of mushrooms. Collect all the mushrooms. Beautiful. And the sprigs. Always the sprigs as well. Everything. Collect all of the things. Okay. We're going to go back to our regular spot for collecting acorns too, I think. Yeah. We're going to collect this sap as well. How much did we just get? All right. It's fine. Let's go grab this sap here. All right. And then there's another sap over here. Right over there. Bingo. I think there's one under it. Yep. And then there's... These ones. Come on. Wait, can I, co can I put a sap collector onto this? I wonder. Since this is like flatter, I wonder if it'll let me. Oh, I can. Oh, that's awesome. So it'll let me put a sap collector on this one. 
I mean, it's kind of a shame that it's so far away, but yeah, this is kind of like far. Like my house is right here. My other sap collectors are like over here. I mean, I guess it's probably the same distance and it's probably actually safer to get to. I don't know. I'm not going to put one here right now. We'll wait. We're going to wait. Uh, oh yeah, the te Tesla device. How did that go? So, ooh, there's a butt, there's a feather. <gasps> yes. Okay. So the Tesla device, this, you, you're talking about this thing, right? I assume this is what you're talking about. Um, with this and those lasers, you kind of figure this thing out. This is like the first thing you do in the game. Um, so you come across this device, you have to press some buttons, figure some stuff out, make the lasers work. Um, and then it creates an, an explosion and you need to kind of like chase the explosion and figure out what happened. That's something that happens pr decently early in the game. Come on, how do I get up here? There we go. There we go. All right, here's the ant hill. Which we obviously know there are acorns here. Oh, and there's a spider right there. Which is super exciting. Oh, there's two. Dang, bro. Okay. Oh, and it sees us. That's exciting. Hey. Ow. Dang, man, it really hit me. Okay, so that was one spider. I'm glad the other one didn't show up. That took way longer than I thought it was going to take, too, to kill that guy. How's my... Okay, my armor's okay. Yeah, I don't know why that took so long. Uh, the fact that it makes those noises makes it being a... Sp makes it being a spider even more terrifying. I know, right? Like, it screams like a freaking alien. Ugh. Yeah, and Squirrels is becoming a pro at this game, so I get why it's hard to keep up. Um, also, man, it's been a while. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that was the one that led you to the tree. Yes, yes, Yama, you got it, you got it. Um, got some new things, too, um, since it came out. Yeah, there's there's been some, some updates. Oh. There's the other spider. Are you going to come back? No, okay. Alright. Let's go grab this guy. I wouldn't say I'm becoming a pro at the game. <laughs> um, but I will say that um, the, the only thing I really terrified to try to take on by myself right now is a wolf spider. Oh, and the brood mother, obviously. But the, the brood mother is basically a glorified wolf spider. 
So, yeah. Um, all of the other enemies in the game that I've come across so far, the stink bug, the ladybug, the larva, the bombardier beetles. Um, I haven't come across the little spiderlings yet, but I've heard that they're easy like mites. So the only thing is really the wolf spider at this point that really frightens me. Jeez. Okay, I take that back. I take that back. Grubs scare the crap out of me. Grubs. Oh, man, I hate them so much. They freak me out, man. <sighs> it's just the noise they make. It's just the noise they make that's scary. That's really it. Oh, there's a lot of, like... Can I get up on this? We gotta play a little parkour, huh? Don't destroy these clovers because you need them. Oh, dang it. Seriously, don't destroy those clovers. Like, ever. Alright, there's some more acorns. There's a lot more acorns. Hey! Nirethia, how you doing, man? How you doing? Thank you so much for that raid, dude. Welcome. Welcome, raiders. Hopefully everyone's doing well today. Thank you again, Nyree, for that raid. And, uh... Folks, if you don't know who Nirethia is, super cool guy. Super cool guy. Uh, plays a lot of role-playing games. What were you playing? Uh, playing retro. Okay. So so retro stuff. Cool, cool, cool. Um, met him through some Final Fantasy VII playing. Uh, again, welcome everybody. Squirrel's here. Variety streamer. We're playing some Grounded right now, but we do play some Final Fantasy stuff and things as well. Uh, we just beat, finally, Final Fantasy VII Remake on Friday. Um... Uh, this past Friday. Uh, so after that, I think we're going to be going back to um, some Kingdom Hearts playthrough uh, once or twice a week. Uh, getting into Kingdom Hearts 2 and then onwards to Kingdom Hearts 3, hopefully. Um, I haven't actually played Kingdom Hearts 3 yet. Um, played uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 a couple times, but not Kingdom Hearts 3 yet. Uh, just Bahamut Lagoon. Oh, okay, gotcha. But using the retro category to test the waters. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Oh man, I got like a bug bite on my neck. But yes, I hope that everyone is doing well. If you are in the States, I hope that you had a great Labor Day weekend. If, uh, if not, hopefully you had a great weekend anyway. Um, mine was pretty good here. The game looked pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it does look pretty cool. But uh, yeah, we are, we're playing some Grounded, which is a terrifying game at times. <laughs> um, the premise, for those of you that are unfamiliar, it's a crafting survival game where it's basically like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Like you are tiny in someone's backyard and you are trying to craft and survive. Um, and we are right now are on a hunt for as many acorns as we possibly can find. Bahama Lagoon is fun. I now have a completely broken dragon. Broken dragons sound like a good thing if they're on your side. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to take a sip of my water real quick. He has infinite HP. That's broken. That is, that's too broken. That's too broken. Oh my gosh, there are a lot of acorns right here. Holy poop nugget. I'm glad I just saved. Okay. Because I don't like going in a place where I don't have anywhere I can run from. Oh my gosh. So many acorns. This way. Carefully, quietly. Carefully, quietly. Carefully, quietly. Let's go back because I want to... Oh, actually, there's some good sap right here. Let's get this sap too. All right, let's go back up this way. We're going to come back to that spot. We're going to come back to that spot. But I want to go up here first. Oh, was there no sap up here? Oh, there's some sap, but not a lot. Okay. Altissen? Altis... Alt... Alti... 
Alt, how are you doing? <laughs> good morning, good morning. How would you prefer me to say your name, man? Um, hopefully you're doing well today. Uh, infinite HP, if they can even hit him, and when they do, it's for zero. Alt is fine. Cool, cool, cool. That definitely sounds broken. Nairi calls me Alti. Alti. Alti sounds good, too. Can I, can I grab this? Yes. We will grab you. Is there another one on this end? Nope. Okay. That's cool. All right. We need to get the rest of these acorns and stuffs. I don't see any wolf spiders. If we encounter by accident a orb weaver spider, that is a different story. Like, those I can survive against. But, dang it. But it's the, the flippin' wolf spiders, man. Scare, they freaking terrify me. Just call the EDF? But then you'd lose the house. Uh, define EDF, I'm sorry. Not familiar with that acronym. My apologies. Oh, there's more sap right there, too. <gasps> Ooh, another acorn. Oh, wow. This is where we are. Oh. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, look, another orb weaver. Okay, I see where we are now. Frick is that sound? Oh, ants are killing a weevil. Oh, poor weevil. Poor weevil. Um, by the way, Nairi, how did Crisis Core go? Saw it now and then. I got 100% and beat the super boss. It was fun. Nice, nice. Earth Defense Force. <laughs> Save the world from giant insects by blowing it up. Earth Defense Force. Copy that. Copy that. Wait, wait, wait. Earth Defense Force, save the world from giant insects by blowing it. Is that from um, Starship Troopers? Is that what that's from? All right, there's an acorn right here. We're going to save right here and drop down and head back. Very Starship Troopers-like. Okay, okay. Reminded me of Starship Troopers. I don't see any bugs. I don't see any bad bugs anyway. I'll take these acorn bits. Thank you very much. I don't see any more acorns. I see another sap thing. I will gladly take the sap. This is the exact sap thing that we actually... We broke the previous morning. Oh, look, an orb weaver. That's lovely. Okay. So now that I know where I is, we can go this way to get back home. And on the way, we can collect some... Oh. Some flower petals. Oh, we can check this one out, too. All right. Did this collect any sap? Did these two things collect sap while we were out? There's a single sap? Oh, that's bull crap. You got... Really? Really? That's it? That's that's what we're going to get from them? <sighs> well, that was... That was anticlimactic. Incredibly anticlimactic. I was, I was really hoping for more. Especially at 2 o'clock in the flippin' afternoon. These things have been here for almost 24 hours. They collect one piece of sap. <gasps> they collected another one. Is this one going to give me another one? I literally watched that one give me one before my eyes. Alright, well that was... That, that... Oh, yeah, there it went. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm off, but I keep Twitch open for you. Take care, have a great stream, and, uh, and chat. I hope I talk to you all another time. Hey, Jameek, thanks, man. Thanks, man. Always a pleasure to hang out, and, uh, appreciate your advice all the time, man. Have a good one. Have a good rest of your Tuesday. 
I need to go into Lurk. Going to chill because tomorrow's a special stream for Jazz's birthday. Oh, nice. Nice. All right. No worries, man. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. That's cool. Happy birthday to Jazz if, she, if uh, she's out there. I'm curious to see if these are going to drop sap regularly. Like, but they can only drop one at a time? I don't know. Or maybe I just lucked out on timing. She's asleep, I think. Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. Yeah, I don't see these giving me another one anytime soon. So let's go. I think I just timed it just right and got a second droplet at that moment. Oh, there's an acorn right there. Yes, there is an acorn right there. All right, let's save from here. Always save when you're about to hit the hit the ground because you never know what things could come out of the shadows. Oh, my inventory is full. You got to be flipping kidding me. My inventory cannot be full. Cannot be full. Drop that stack right there. Give me this. That one. Oh, that's full too. Come on, come on. What can I drop? What can I drop? Bam. Let's go. Let's go. Any more acorns while we're out here? Because I just made a whole new stack for them. No? Okay. All right, let's go. Best wishes from the treehouse in Nairi Dome. Nice, nice. We've got a flower petal right here. It's always inhabited by spiders. Oh, oh, okay. What's up, Spidey? What is up, Spidey? For anyone that joined us from Nairi's stream, if you've not seen spiders battled in this game, you are about to. What's up, dude? I think the spider's stuck. Yeah, I think the spider is stuck. Oh, it's not stuck. It's not stuck. That's okay, I killed it anyway. I kind of want some spider web though, since I just killed it. Um, do I have room to drop something for in favor of spider web? Let me eat these. Alright. Let's save real quick too. Had that head rolling away. <laughs> right? There we go. All right, some good old spider web. This was actually a really good run. Oh, oh, oh man. Can I put, I wonder if it'll let me put one here. If I can get it just right, I wonder if it'll let me put one here. Come on. Come on. <gasps> Done. Done. I'm taking it. I've obviously got to get another ant mandible. But that's going to happen. Because that is way closer to the, than the tree. That is way closer than the tree. We gotta get an ant mandible. We just we just made a, a tree sap collector work on a twig. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
Can I use this? How far can we go? How far can we take it? Not that far, okay. Alright, and we're back. So, let me actually take some of these up with me. And we'll finish off some more of the shelves. Oh, both of the shelves. Sweet, awesome. So all the shelves are done now. Let's see, what can we make here? Bam, look at those. So we need 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's only 20. Oh, that's only 20. That's a lot more storage. Yes, technically that's a lot more storage. King Irrelevant. Nice name. <laughs> How you doing? Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Um, that makes me wonder what a bucket full of collected spider web would look like. If you would have a bucket full and you mushed it all together like a like a dough, like dough. <laughs> New version of a rubber band ball. Yeah, pretty much, right? All right, we can make that one and this one. And we're out of shells again. We're getting there, though, y'all. We are getting there. We are definitely getting there. All right, we can drop off some of this stuff. We got a lot more sap. Can, all right, let's let's use the rest of the sap. Are these these are all All right, we're all sapped out. We don't need any more sap. Not anytime soon anyway. Okay. And we don't need any more clover. Literally the all we need left are four. Wait, so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8. King irrelevant. Thanks for getting squirrely with us. Appreciate that follow, man. Did we say eight? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight. All right. Eight times four, 32. So we need 32, 32 acorn shells left. Whew, man. Uh, or like a bug death trap that rolls through the streets. That would be interesting as well. <laughs> I imagine it like the most sticky thing ever. Both, yes. All right, so we need 20, or we need 32 more acorn shells. 32 more acorn shells. That's a lot of acorn shells. So what I'm hoping is that I can kind of label these better. I got to think how I want to label them. I don't know how I want to label them yet. We're going to figure that out, though. Huh. Yeah, we're going to figure that out later. Um, let's go back to the house. You know what we can do? We can start moving stuff over here. I feel like I want to finish the top row, though, before we really start stop moving. Well, let's move. Let's move everything into chests randomly just grab everything that we can and then move it into chests. We'll move everything to the new base. Um, and then we'll worry about labeling it after we finish the chests. We'll worry about organizing it, I mean, after we finish the chests. That's what we'll do. Because I would love to be finally be able to, to stop having to use the baseball base, you know? All right, more sap on here? Yes. I feel like sap is respawning quicker. Is that just me? I feel like sap is respawning quicker than it did before the update. What do you play on Xbox or PC? No, I don't play this. I'm not much of a gamer, really. <laughs> Haven't played any modern games in many years. Uh, just started ESO. My sap collectors never work. Really? Really? Um, I'm really annoyed that the, sap, that the sap collectors are very finicky on how you position them. I'm really annoyed by that. Uh, never mind, it's been a stupid question. I just woke up. Yeah, I mean, what? Oh, asking what consoles people play on? 
Uh, how do I take all? W is take all. Alright, is that everything? I think that's everything. I think our inventory is now full. Okay. Yeah. Alright, let's take this stuff over to the new house. What time is it in the game? It is almost evening. Uh, you know what? You know what? It's no let's women crime, but it's do that. Oh, man. That stinks. That stinks. That's okay. We'll come back in the morning. It's not that big of a deal. You wait in-game weeks for you to get one? So I placed one sap- I placed two sap collectors side by side on a branch. Um, I don't know if you were- I don't know if you were still- if you were in the stream yet when I checked on them. Um, but I got- I had one out of both. One out of each. One sap. And then waited a little bit and then got a second sap out of each. I think it was based on timing. I think I timed it just right and I happened to collect it at a time where it was about to drop another drop. Um, Alright, let's drop all of this stuff off here. I probably should have put all the bug parts together at the very least, huh? Made it a little bit easier. Nah, nah, it's fine. We're gonna reorganize stuff later anyway. I let squirrels play all the games for me. <laughs> I just saw that. Nice. Yeah, Yama's been uh, on these streams for a long time now. Alright, so we'll sleep. We'll eat a little bit. And then we will re we'll build up that sap collector we just placed. Yeah, almost a year. Almost a year, Yama. Nice. Alright, let's grab some food. We only need seven to fill us up. There we go. And then... Um, we'll take a sip of that. Let's take an ant mandible with us. Uh, ant mandible, and we will rebuild the um, the sap collector that we just positioned by the pond right over there. Ooh. Okay. Note to self. Um, when hang time is done, the dandelion is gone. That was the first dandelion I've had break on me. I, I really am not used to using dandelions. Um, so that's good to know. That's really good to know, actually. Um, there we go. So, if I go... Yeah, okay, I see. You get that exactly that much hang time out of it. I understand. I understand. Let me read this. I have a world of like 200 game days on it. I have a huge base with a crap ton of supplies and every mutation at max except for the, the juice box one. Or the juice box one. And I like to beat games to the very max. And it's not letting me collect. <laughs> that kind of triggers me. Oh, I got you. The sap collectors aren't working, so it's bothering you. Got you. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. It comes down to where you put the sap collector. If you put it on the right branch, that normally would give you a lot of sap. That should give you... Oh... Most places get one sap, sometimes two, but if you place it somewhere that maybe has like a, that usually has the big deposit of sap, then you can collect a ton. 
Interesting. Well, I don't care. I'm still placing the sap collector on that branch because if I get one or two sap out of that on a regular basis, then I'll be happy. Yes. Okay. All right, we got to get more acorn shells, though, y'all. We, we have to get more acorn shells. Oh, wait, where am I going? I need to get more drank, don't I? Oh, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Um, where you are now is where I built my base. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, no, I really like the flat rock a lot. I really like the flat rock. Is this spider back in here again? Nope. I like that there's this flower petal that is always seems to spawn right there. That's like a really convenient spot for a flower petal. Because it's away from things. Alright, I'm ready for the sun to stop being blinding. Ready for the sun to stop being blinding any second now. Come on. Alright, my sap collectors are right up there, but I don't want to go up there if I can't see what's around me. And there's usually like an acorn or two right over here, usually a couple acorns over there. One sap. One sap. Hey, you know what? Whatever. Alright, there's an acorn right there. I don't see any bugs nearby at this exact moment. Like, here's some sap that fell. Can only one sap spawn at a time? I'm kind of curious about that, too. Like, can this thing only fit one sap, or can there be multiple pieces of sap in there? I think you can have multiple drops of sap in there. I think. Alright, do I see any other acorns? Looks like there's an acorn right there. I don't see any others at this exact moment. Do you ever play multiplayer because I'm thinking of getting my friends to play the game more consistently and us all having bases at different areas? For example, me at the rock next to the juice box and pond and him at berries and we all have kind of a mail system where we, where when I need berries, I would trade him something like acorns in a chest system outside his base. That's really cool. King, or, King that is a really cool idea. I really like that idea a lot. Um... I am interested in multiplayer. Unfortunately, the only time I ever get to play is this time. Um, I, I, uh, I'm, a, I'm a husband, a dad, full-time job, right? Like, I'm just, I'm a busy dude. So the only time I get to stream is at this time, which is before the family wakes up. Yeah, King, I don't know if you're in the States or if you're um, not. Uh, I'm in the U.S. on the East Coast, so right now for me it's 6.30 a.m. I usually stream from about 4.30 to 7 or 8 a.m., depending on what I have planned for the day. So I only get like two, three, three and a half max hours per day, and that's in the early morning hours before people wake up. 
and that's the only time I get to play video games. Oh, you were in Florida. Nice. Um, so yeah, we're the same time. Um, but yeah, like right now kids and my wife are still asleep upstairs. (laughs) Um, once I stop streaming, then I got to get the kids ready. And now actually today's their first day of school. So we got to figure out how, how that routine is going to work. Um, get them ready for the day. Then I start my school day usually, or I start my work day usually around nine ish. And then five, pick up the kids, get dinner ready, hang out with the family, go to sleep early so I can wake up early and play games. (laughs) How many kids do I have? Any funny stories? Kind of actually. Gizol, 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 Gizol. Gee, how are you? Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Thanks for getting squirrely with us. And I appreciate that follow. Hopefully you're doing well and you've had a good weekend. Uh, I have two kids, two boys. Um, one just turned eight. Um, and the other is about to turn six in a couple weeks. Um, yeah, got plenty of funny stories. My six year old, my almost six year old is hilarious. Um, he always talks so matter of factly about everything. And it's super cute. Cause he's like tiny. <laughs> Uh, but yesterday, you know, it was Labor Day, right? Had a barbecue, had some folks come over, had some new folks that I had met for the first time. They had some kids that were the same age as, as our boys. Um, their younger daughter is a year younger than our son, our younger son. Um, uh, and I call them Cal and Gotham, by the way. So Cal is the older one, Gotham's the younger one. Um, that's not their real names. That's just what I typically call them on stream. So Gotham meets this little girl And she like right away wants to hold his hand, like right away. It's like, why don't we hold hands to go up to the house? Why don't we hold hands to go over here? And he goes, nah, I'm okay. And like pulls his hand back. And then like an hour later of them playing together, they're holding hands everywhere the rest of the day. (laughs) Gee, good to see you. Good to see you. Again, appreciate that follow. Appreciate that follow. How's your day going? That's so adorable. Yeah, it was super cute. It was super cute. I'm about to have to destroy all of these grubs because they frighten me every time they make noise. It's so freaking scary. It's not actually scary, but the noise is just super loud. Oh my gosh, like that. And it always happens right in front of you when you least expect it. (sighs) Man. So obnoxious, stupid grubs. Uh, Days finished for me. Uh, Oh, days finished for you, for you. I got you, I got you. It's evening time. New Zealand, love the little background story. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Any up here? Oh, there's a spider over there. That's okay. I'm here. I'm on a sap. I mean, I actually I have a ton of sap right now. Honestly, I really do. Um, but now that I'm learning how difficult it is to collect the stupid stuff, we're going to collect all the sap that we possibly can. While we get all the acorns we possibly can. I'm more so on a mission for acorns. Because we need a ridiculous amount of acorns still. We need a ridiculous amount of acorns still. Oh, there's sap here. So I feel like if I put a sap collector on this branch. We'd probably be good. But I always get... Like this sap... This sap... Respawns pretty much every morning. I really don't need all that, but that's okay. Um, they are really annoying to stock up on grub, hi- grub hides as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know, because when you want the grubs, I definitely know what you're talking about with the grubs. Thank you, King. Oh my gosh, right? Like, you're like listening, you know, carefully. And I have the headphones turned up, right? So that I can hear like every little nuance just in case there's a spider off in the distance, right? Like, I haven't run into 
so many wolf spiders to where I can really tell the difference between the sound they make versus a regular spider. I just, I hear a hissing sound and I assume it's a spider. But if I hear it off in the distance, I'm like, okay, all right, like, 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 let's look, let's pay attention. So I'm constantly paying attention to the audio. And then a grub just comes out of nowhere. And it's the loudest noise in the freaking game. Oh, man, my son loves babies, always takes care of them, holds their hands to show them around the parks and make sure they're okay when they fall. Oh, that's cute. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, I feel like I'm getting a feel for the fact, uh, for where the acorns spawn more often than others. So I think I'm, I think I'm liking this. Come on, let's get up here. Let's get up here. Come on. All right. Can I get a good sight line to some more acorns? Maybe. No. There must be a weevil down there. I've killed like 50 wolf spiders and I still get spooked by grubs getting them confused. <laughs> oh, yep, there's some more there. That's normal. That's a normal spot where I usually see them. Yep, all right, I'm gonna say, I always save, man. Like I'm, I'm like a stickler about saving. So, King, how would you do the multiplayer thing? I'm very curious how you would do the multiplayer thing because you can't do you can't do a server yet, right? It has to be local. Doesn't it have to be local multiplayer still? Tastes good. Let's keep moving. Yeah, the, the, the acorns spawn in like the same places every morning, it looks like. So we just got to do like a full on acorn run. We got to do a berry run too, but we'll do that later. I'm more concerned about getting um, I'm more concerned about getting my storage situation under control again. Oh jeez. I hate it when I hit more than once. That is also scary. Just the extra noises. Oh my gosh. What the like one of the most terrifying things for me in this game is when I'm looking, right? I'm looking and paying attention to what's around me and I see nothing. And then I go, charge, get a bunch of stuff and then turn around and there's an ant. If I couldn't see a flipping ant, then where the heck is the wolf spider around the corner? Oh jeez, stupid grub, oh my god. Gosh. I feel like they 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 increase the volume of the grub sound too because I don't ever remember it being that loud before um before the update. Oh, man, those grubs, right, exactly. Um yeah, but I'm a nerd with the updates, like I know what a lot of the updates are for a few months. Oh, you know what a lot of the updates for the next few months will be. For example, they are adding zipping and suppo supposedly dedicated server worlds or something similar. Oh, okay. And both are great for my multiplayer world. Gotcha. Zip lines. Okay, zip lines. I did hear about zip lines. I did hear about zip lines from somebody else on YouTube. Yeah, okay. I was like zipping, like you can zip up your save files or what? Like, what are you talking about? Okay. All right, let's, let's kind of continue along here. You know what? Actually, oh, there's another. Oh, yes. Okay. 
And by the way, like this area right in here is where I ran into my first wolf spider in the game ever. So every time I'm in this spot, it scares the crap out of me. I'm constantly on edge. I had a bad experience. What happened, man? I said I had a bad experience. Anybody know what that's from? I love that that takes one hit, too. Like, that's amazing. Come on, there's got to be more acorns in that area. Yeah. No? Okay. Uh, they live under the tree in a cave. Yes, I know. I've been in there before when they were out. Like, at nighttime. I had someone join my game. I hosted it for a hot second, and they helped me build up some of that base area. Um, and uh, during that time, we they were showing me where like a bunch of the raw science was around the tree, and we like go inside the cave, and that's my first time in the cave under the tree, and there was nothing in there. But I know that's where those wolf spiders live, and then eventually we killed one outside the tree. But right. oh, hello. Random orb weaver. That's cool. See what I mean? Like, I'm constantly looking at my surroundings and they just sneak up out of nowhere. Spider up ahead. Yeah, no crap. Get some stamina. I hate how loud they scream at the end, too. Like, that's terrifying. Um, zip lines sound fun. They let okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, they do, but I'm wondering what type of zip lines, like electric ones where you can go in both directions, or a zip line system where it only goes one direction going downhill. The latter. Is what I'm thinking. The latter is what I'm thinking. I think it'll probably be gravity based. Because obviously gravity is already built into the game, right? The physics are already there. So I have a feeling that's the route they're going to go. You know, nothing else in the game yet involves electricity except for the mysterious machine. But nothing else that we build yet... Well, I, I take that back. I haven't obviously gotten to end game content yet. I haven't gotten to to experience the absolute last things you can build. So maybe some things do involve electricity that you can build. I don't know for a fact. Um, but based on everything that I've been able to build so far, I don't think it'd be electric. Either way, it would still be fun. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. And you just have to position it, right, to where, you know, there'd be something higher, further away. So if you're going to someone's base, right, it would be like this. You know, you'd have two zip lines, one for going one direction, a second for going the opposite direction. I wonder how long you can make them. That's a good point. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they would work. Period. All right, let me, let me take a look at my inventory. We needed, how many, 32 shells? There's no way we have 32. Oh, we got 20, though. We didn't do too bad. So, like, one more morning, if all the acorns respawn, then in one more morning, we could be okay. You know, are there... There's no more acorns? I've seen acorns respawn in front of my eyes before. So, will they do it again? Maybe. Maybe. Stupid grubs, man. It's like, it's too close to a hissing sound. That's the problem. And it's loud. A 
I'm pretty sure the other wolf spider is, like, over there. Span across from the oak tree to the berry bush. I know, that'd be crazy. I'm ready to um, increase my archery skill. I'm ready to, like, have a mess load of arrows. Like, as soon as possible. I'm just, I'm not there yet, but I'm ready to. I just, I hate melee combat. I'm such a big fan of ranged combat. Oh, hello. Who want to cross the whole world? Yeah, pretty much, right? That'd be sick. I think it'd make the most sense from the oak tree to the berry bush, though. And then just have, like, drop-off points or something. Like, like if you could let go of the zip line wherever you wanted to, then you just dandelion off. So if you had one full zip line across, like, the whole map... Well, or at least from the oak tree, because it's a high point, right? You could have several high points from the oak tree that go and extend from the oak tree to different corners of the map. And the oak tree is like the hub of the start. Then you just drop wherever you want and float down. Do you ever play a game so much you just know every detail about the game? I know every insect spawn in the game. <gasps> Dang. I do <laughs> I've never played a game that much. I would love to have that kind of detail, though. I would love to have that kind of detail. We're gonna kill this spider over here. Oh, more sap. Any more acorns, y'all? Any more acorns? Come on. I don't I don't know if I need any more sap right this second, I'll be honest. I think I've got plenty of sap. Um I love this game so much. It's such a really cool game. No, I agree, man. I agree. It's it's a really cool concept. I love surviving survival games, crafting games, um, and this one is really doing it for me too. All right, let's go check on our sap collectors. One sap and one sap. That's, yeah, these were not worth it. I'll be honest, these were not worth it. All right, do we have, yeah, we got plenty of food we can eat. All right, hang hang tight, folks. I gotta I gotta help Cal. Cal woke up and he's here, so uh, so I gotta help him with um, the stool real quick. Careful with the um, the balloon. Where's the balloon? I got it. Where's the balloon? Give your headphones. Ugh. All right.
There we go. Mic is turned up. So this, for those that don't know, for those that are new maybe, this is Cal. He is our eight-year-old. Can you say hi, King? Hi, King. Wait, can you say that again? Hi, King. Mm. Say it again. Hi, King. Can you also scoot this way? Um, and hi, Yama. Hi, Yama. There we go. And hi, No Way. Hi, No Way. And hi, Giesel. Hi, Giesel. Hi, Chameek. Hi, Chameek. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> All right. Let's start heading back. Oh, more ants attacking weevils. So we got 20 more acorns. Shells, anyway. Are there any more acorns this way? Like around the tree? Oh, yes. Okay. We'll grab this one. And we will save. Y'all can still hear us okay, right? I try to turn up the, uh, the, the, uh, the mic ridiculously. I'm really just looking for the acorn shells, right? Oh, jeez. Oh. <sighs> Grub activity. Yeah, okay. You heard that, right, Cal? Mm. The grub? Yeah. Okay, just, just checking. That was hard to hear. What was? The beep. Uh, the phone? Yeah. Yeah, the phone, yeah, the phone was quiet. That's fine. Oh, there's some spiders down there, it looks like. I think there's a spider. Yep, there's, that's where a wolf spider sleeps. Right there. You see it? Cal? Do you see it? Mm-hmm. You're not looking. No, because it's a spider. Because it's scary? Yeah. See? It's not that bad. Its eyes are closed. Sorry, I didn't see your question about the water update. Oh, okay. Uh, wait, I don't know if I saw the question about the water update either. Oh, have you tried Subnautic? Oh, wait, okay. King, what was that water update you mentioned earlier? Better textures, question mark. Okay. Um, have you tried Subnautica? Very similar concept of gameplay, but that game takes place on an alien game. Alien planet of primarily 99% water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have played Subnautica. I love Subnautica. Love, love, love Subnautica. I keep meaning to play Subnautica Below Zero, but I haven't. Um, but I do love Subnautica. I've streamed it as well. Um, but I haven't played it in a while. It's been a long time since I played it. Sorry to see your question about water update. There's going to be a new boss, the diving bell spider. Oh, man. Mosquitoes, I did hear about the mosquitoes. I did hear about the fish and the tadpoles. New armor for swimming fast, breathing underwater, and for walking on water, that's cool. I'm not looking forward to the dangers in the water though. Not looking forward to that. All right, we're gonna leave, we're gonna leave that, uh, that wolf spider alone. Or we're gonna leave the wolf spider alone. But walking on water is- Should I try to attack it anyway? I don't know, anyway. Walking on water, water is kind of like, um, Death, Ra Death Strider. Death Strider? What is that? It's, it's an enchantment book in Minecraft. Oh. It's not new. It lets you walk, it like, it lets you go in water faster. Oh, okay. And there's turtle helmets that you need to 
five scoots for I think, and then uh, um, and then you can put Aqua Infinity on it, on it, um, which also lets you, you like do Riptide a, a little bit faster, and Death Rider help. help hey, him. hey, put this side on. Now try talking. Okay. So, Cal, when you were talking just now, you were stuttering a lot, and it's because there's a little bit of a delay on your headphones. When you, when you can't hear yourself as much coming out of your mouth and you only hear out of the headphones, you're, I think you'll talk more clearly. Okay? Okay. All right. Um, I didn't know you could walk on water in Minecraft. Yeah, it's I didn't not, either. It's not really like walking on water, but it's it just helps you go faster. And if you swim up, then it's kind of like a dolphin. There you go. You're talking much clearer now. Oh, more acorns. I don't think there's four and five. There, it only goes up to three. These are those same acorns that we just got earlier in the morning on this particular day. So I think they respawn a couple times a day, it looks like. Alright, how many do we have? Oh, we're so close, y'all. We are so close. What's that mushroom? It was um, like hanging under it was, the tree. It was probably a mushroom, a legitimate mushroom. Oh no, it was, that was a sap. That was sap, bud. No, it looked... It actually looked... looked that? Yeah. That's, a, that's sap. What? Then that's a lot. Yes, it was. It was a lot of sap. Right, we, come on. We, we just need a little bit more. Oh, shoot. We just need... There we go. Come on. Couple more acorns. Couple more acorns. Stupid grub scaring the crap out of me. Come on. Just a few more acorn shells. How many? How many? How many do we need? We need 32. We need one more acorn shell, y'all. One more acorn shell, and it is almost night, and that wolf spider is gonna wake up, and it's not gonna be cool. We just, we gotta, we gotta do this. We gotta make it happen. Here we go. Did we get it? Yes, we got it. I'm good. Let's go. All right, let me read some of this. Uh, there's an enchantment for speed in water, depth strider. Depth strider? Is that what you're trying to say? Okay. Depth Strider. Um, then there is Frost Walker in Minecraft, which, which turn turns the water into ice mm -hmm. for a little bit. 30 seconds. That's what, uh, that's what King said. Uh, earlier was the first time I saw a wolf spider. Was not even sure if it was a spider. Oh, uh, like in real life? Or you mean in the game just now? Like me showing you guys. Right, let's go, guys. We gotta go. We gotta go. Yesterday we saw a wolf spider. In oh real yes, life. yesterday we saw a wolf spider in real life. Yep, on Labor Day, while we were outside, we saw a wolf spider in real life. Go go go! Let's get home. And Declan got new friends. Yep. Well, you did too. Oh, well, no, I guess you already knew him, huh? Mm-hmm. He goes to my school. Yeah. We did it, guys. I think we have all the acorns we need to finish our storage, our storage lines. It's still not quite the amount of storage I would like. Still not quite the amount of storage I would like, but it should be enough for us to organize. That's funny. What? How that's like that? I put it there. It's a sap collector. Oh. 
Yeah, I've seen a lot of spiders in real life. I used to collect... No, in the game. Okay, gotcha. In real life, I used to collect them and read about them. Yeah, I remember you saying that. Uh, you telling me that, Ryama. Are you a biologist of some sort, right? There's a grub right there. Okay. Alright. We're back. Let's see if we can't finish our chests. Come on. Bam! And we have a couple shells to spare. Because you took down one more. I know, because it was in the way. I mean, like, it was there. If I can get it, and it's easy to get, and I don't have to waste time, then I'm going to do it. Look at this, you guys. And this is exactly 20, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, yeah, 10 times 2, 20. So we've got exactly 20. That's a nice round number. Really, really nice. I like that. We're going to have some other chests as well. Like, I might put my random chest right here, or whatever, but they'll probably be the, the smaller chests. I don't see a reason to have the big chests for some of the random location stuff, right? So, what time is it in the game? It is almost 7. Let's empty our inventory. Let's empty our inventory. There we go. And you didn't empty your inventory. What? You didn't empty... No, because I want to keep this stuff on me. That's my armor, that's my, my tools, like my weapons, like... That's my stuff I don't want to empty. Um, I kind of wanted to be... When I was younger, actually, I was very interested in insects. Guess I'm still quite interested. Fair enough, fair enough. I still don't see any bombardier beetles respawning. I, and again, I wonder if that's just because... I had killed them enough times. I'm scared of insects. Yes, my two boys are quite scared of insects. Alright, let's head back to the old base. I'm gonna not worry about the sap right now because I don't want to fill up my inventory. There's the only one that doesn't like, like, that's not scared of insects. I mean, they're not my favorite things in the world, bud. And if it's a really big insect, then it'll probably freak me out a little bit. Oh, man. Movement. I don't know if it's a ladybug or a spider. Looks like a ladybug. Yeah, it's a ladybug. We're okay. We're okay, y'all. I apologize for the noise. That's the dogs running around upstairs. What time is it in the game? It is almost eight. All right, so we're back here again. Maybe I'm not. You, I'm not gonna take. They wanted, like, bacon. What? Maybe there was bacon. Stop scratching. Turn this way. Put your legs down. Okay. There you go. Was I scared? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Um... Oh, one of my stepdads, John, was a park ranger. He would do things like help people about, uh, help people new to the area, <laughs> cut down forests that were getting too big by burning sections down every few years, I think, anyway. <laughs> but he taught me a lot of things about animals and caught me and taught me how to catch snakes. I caught a pygmy rattlesnake once. Dang, that's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, you were asking him if he was scared. I got you. I got you. Kind of glad we don't have those animals where I live. Very nice story, though. <laughs> Fair enough, right? 
Okay, let me grab... Let me fill up my inventory with stuff. My leg hurts. Why does your leg hurt? Mm -hmm. Alright, so the next day, after we sleep here, is going to be focused entirely on transferring inventory. We should leave some stuff. Um, I don't plan on it, no. What, bub? Um, yes? But you need a shirt. Yep. You need a shirt. I don't remember what the rules are on people streaming without shirts on. I'm pretty sure they would allow it if the ki if the person streaming without a shirt on was six years old, but still. Okay. Uh, wait, let's refill that spot. Okay. Whoa. Why didn't that take the whole thing? That was weird. Okay. Here we go. The biggest and most poisonous snake we have here is the viper. Oh, yeah. In Florida, we have a bunch of snakes. Many people can find black racers in their yards. Though, thankfully, they aren't poisonous at all and don't hurt much when they bite also. Yeah, that's fortunate. My mom's scared of snakes. Yes. Um, their great-grandmother who watches them during the day um, is absolutely terrified of snakes. Oh, look. Ladybug on that side. He's and so cute. And they always come to, into her yard. Some, mostly. But mostly when we're away. Oh, another ladybug. I'm not worried about killing the ladybugs right now. I feel like I have plenty of ladybug parts to build the ladybug armor. I just need to be able to build... Um, I just need um, the berry. I need berries. So we, we're going to have to go get berries. From the berry tree? Yes, from the berry tree. It's actually a bush, but yeah. Uh, oh, wait, that makes sense. Then why do you call it a tree? Because it's huge to us. <laughs> I missed. I was terrified of snakes when I was eight, and John helped me conquer that fear. He intentionally let a black racer bite him to show me it wasn't a big deal. That's fun. <laughs> <coughs> That's fun. Should I put grass, like the raw re resources and the more rare stuff up top? Which one? Should I put... Like... Should I put the rare stuff up top or the rare stuff on the bottom? I think you should do one last thing. Make a little tiny spot where, and then cover it up and there's only one little um, entrance to see where, and then you put them in there. Um, well, there's nobody else that comes on my world, bud. Oh. It's just me. Oh. Except for that one time, but I mean, he can't really take anything because it's my world, so. Hey, can you let your brother up here, please? <laughs> oh, you're doing this one? Yep, I'm doing this one. Did you um, finish, like, your base yet? Um, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I just kind of finished some storage. Oh. See? Okay, uh. so I'm going to put... Um, yeah, the yeah, raw, the this. rare stuff on the bottom. So, like, what I'm thinking is this stuff is obviously not rare, so I would put it on this top chest. Right? And then... Daddy, what, bub? You need to repair your thing. Um, which thing? This? Your club. Yeah, it's still got a good ways, bud. It's still got a good ways. If I wanted to repair it, it takes four, five quartzite, though, which is good to know. Um, Alright, let's go and we'll get the rest. We'll get more stuff. 
This is this is going to be a little bit of a process, so bear with us, folks. It's not the most exciting thing in the world, but it's something that needs to happen. <sighs> Coffee Queen, how you doing? Good morning. Welcome back. Good to see you. Happy Tuesday. How was your weekend? So many questions, I know. Um, how are you and the boys? We are doing well. We are doing well. My leg's not. Look, Declan. Ladybug. <laughs> Just really good. I thought that was a spider. And then that would attack him. Busy. I'm good, thanks. Well, good to hear. Good to hear. Busy isn't necessarily bad. Is it a good busy or a bad busy? Like, is it like a work busy or... Okay, we got everything in there. Let's take everything in there. And we'll take everything in there. And we'll take whatever we can in here. Alright, let's go. So with the raw resources, I'd like a dedicated chest for each. That way I can... S that way I can truly stock up. Good Busy just finished a room swap cool. with my daughters. They now have a bigger room. Nice! Wait, you swapped with your daughters? Or your... I thought I heard something. Or your daughters swapped each other's rooms. Yes, I gave them my room. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha, okay. How well do you sort things? If you don't know already, there is an option for labeling chests. No, yes, I, I labeled all of the chests at the old place. I don't know, I, I guess you didn't notice that. Yeah, the, the old place, all the chests are labeled. Um, so I plan on labeling them in the same, in the same way. Uh, should I put the woven fibers after? I feel like I should put the... Uh, nah, I'll, I'll keep it the same way. I might confuse myself if I don't. There we go. Is there a faster way to get around? Nope. So you have to do that? Yep. I should really check out that bird, too. See if there's any new feathers around. Really, I should be making it a point to go where that bird is, like, every day. Does it do anything to it? To you? The bird does not, no. But the bird does drop feathers. And the feathers can be used for making things, like feather arrows. Because if you said that would be useless. Um... Or not well not so it. yeah i gotta look back into that i don't know if do, you guys watching does anyone know if one feather part makes a single arrow or if it makes a group of arrows does it make a bundle of arrows i found a video where someone tried punching the bird killing it but it's hitbox, it doesn't let you get close enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No idea. I have no idea on that one. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I had a feeling. Um, because you only get one feather part from a feather. <coughs> Bless you. So, if one feather part only makes one, one feather arrow, then that's that feels really like a waste, doesn't it? Like, it, it feels like it's a waste of resources to even make arrows then, because you go through arrows so quickly. How are you, 
that good good at going <laughs> through. I've done it a lot now, bud. All right. Next. That thing bounces you high. Yes, it does. And then dry grass will go there. Stone will go there. Quartzite will go here. That's a lot of quartzite. Yeah, it could be more. And then the sap can go here, but this is where this is where things will start getting a little confusing because I'm probably going to want to change things around a little bit. All right, so first off. I'm about to fall. Hey, hey, hey. No, 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 you have way more space than Yeah, you have a lot more space than, than your brother, bud. I'm about to fall. No, you're not. Look at him. His butt is actually hanging off the edge right here, bud. Okay. Okay. Um... You're fine. You have plenty of space. You're not. You're not even falling a little bit. Put your arm around him. Okay. Okay. Um, I assume it's supposed to do more damage. Yeah, it's supposed to do a little bit more damage. Um, there's a significant sam There's a significant enough damage difference to change the number of total hits on an enemy. Um, so it's it's worth the upgrade because it's, it's more than like one it's more than like saving one hit it's like a difference of like three or four hits um and, or maybe even more depending on how much health the enemy has so it's worth the upgrade but in my opinion it's only worth the upgrade if you can get more than one arrow out of it because as rare as feathers are you know i don't i don't see the point well bub Oh, I okay. thought one of you. I thought one of you tapped me. Okay, this one's also gonna be green, and then this one is gonna be yellow, and then this one is gonna be a gray rock. Where's the rock? Where's the rock? Why don't I see rock anywhere? There was a rock somewhere. Oh, there it is. Rock, gray. And then this one is going to be rock orange for quartzite, and then, yeah. And then this one can be sap, so this one is that color for sap. But then beyond that, I'm going to have to figure out things a little bit differently, because then we have like some other things like flower petals and um, thistle needles and things like that. So you should put extra uh, armor in the chests that like you already. If your armor breaks, you don't have to repair it. You can just grab another set. Well, it costs a lot more to build more more than one. It, it costs more to build to build armor than it does to repair armor. So it's not, it doesn't make sense, it's not efficient to build multiple sets of the same armor. It makes more sense to just repair the armor. I have a chest full of arrows, a um, hundred lure arrows, a hundred normal, Daddy. 40 gas, but now I have to stock up on feather arrows. <laughs> what, bub? Um, can I, uh, you know, go upstairs? Yeah, go ahead. Be careful. Okay, that one is gotten. That one has nothing in it. That was flower petals, I think. I'm pretty sure that one was flower petals. So remind that shape. Yeah. Um, we'll do this side because this has like raw stuff in you that one. It. No, that I mean yes, that was acorn stuff, but like that's I consider that food. Um, 
So we'll grab this acorn stuff here, thistle needles, and then a bunch more random stuff. I gotta go, just thought I would come say hi, take care all, bye boys. Hey, Coffee Queen, thanks for swinging by. Always a pleasure to see ya. Stay squirrely, have a good one. Can you say bye, Coffee? Bye, Coffee. I keep saving, but I don't really need to right now, so we'll go this way. How about you only save at night? Ow. That was a big book. Well, I don't want to only save at night, but I save constantly when I'm in safe locations. Because okay. if I run into a spider or something, or I die, I want to be able to load where I last saved, so that I don't have to respawn and find my stuff. Because if you have to respawn because you didn't save or whatever, if you have to respawn... <coughs> bless you. <coughs> bless you. I'll go upstairs. Okay. Sorry if I talk too much. It's just that kind of day. Most days I'm really quiet, but I guess not today. No, don't worry about it, man. I I, pref I actually prefer the uh, the chat. I prefer the company. So, don't worry about it. Okay. So, oh, nope, 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 nope. We've got more. Ah, I feel like I, yeah. We're going to drop that off there. Now, do I want to put all acorn stuff in a single chest? Probably, right? So should it be this one? I think so. Um, and then we've got a thistle needle. Hmm, let me think. How, do I, how do I want to do this? Maybe... That's sap. Yeah, we could do acorns next, right? We'll do acorns next. Alright, but now I need a good symbol for acorns. Um, I'm thinking this because it's like a seed or a flower or whatever. So like this one and yellow will be acorns. And then we can put the flower petals in and do purple for flower petals. Or should it be blue for flower petals because they're actually blue? Yeah, let's go blue for flower petals. Okay. And then the thistle needles will be... Uh, hmm. Oh, hang on a sec. Gotta reposition. My leg's asleep. Okay, let's think. Um... I live right next to the oak tree, so I have a lot of acorns. So I have a chest for every type of acorn part. So I've thought about that. The thought has definitely crossed my mind. That might actually be a wiser idea. That might actually be a wiser idea because I plan on going crazy on acorns. So I actually really like that idea. That's a good point. Maybe I'll put thistles in this one. Now, I should put them with weapons somewhere. With weapons and armor somewhere. These are going to go in a random spot. That's going to go in a random chest because I don't ever collect those. Um, maybe I'll put clay in this one. Actually, you know what? I'm going to move the sap. Yep, I'm going to move the sap. We're going to put the clay in this one. Um, we're gonna put the clay in here because we'll keep like the rock type stuff together. Yeah. So that's like stone, uh, quartzite, clay. I like that idea. Yep, okay. And then we'll put sap in this one. At least for now. I might move it around. I don't know. We'll see. And, I mean, flower petals can go in there, I guess. And then, acorns will do... Th 
So I don't want to put acorn parts in like a dedicated chest per se. Um, I already have a massive storage area around 30 to 40 chests, but I think I don't have enough. Is that weird? No, I don't think that's weird. I would love more storage than this. I would love more storage than this. I just know that it's really expensive. Honestly, what I prefer is this entire area to be storage. So this is, this is 20 chests right here. I would not mind having, um, I wouldn't mind having like another row. Like if I come in this way and having like chests right here as well and right here, I would not mind that. Like, in fact, I almost want to build it out. Um, like I would prefer all the raw materials maybe to like be in one area and then like all the mob stuff to be in another area. And then anything that's used for making and for have made weapons be like another area, weapons and armor. That's what I'd prefer. I don't know if I know enough about the game yet to know what all I need a chest for. And that's my problem right now. Is I'm trying to build a storage area off of what I've currently got. So that one will be acorn tops. This one will be acorn shells. I think I've got an acorn shell or two, right? Oh, we've got more tops. Here's parts. I don't see any acorn shells in that one. Um, here's more acorn tops. Here's some acorn shells. There we go. So, acorn tops. Oops. Acorn shells. I would prefer the acorn parts to be with, um... I would prefer the acorn parts to be with, uh, to be with food, since they're edible. And you can't really make anything else with them, right? I thought that Cal was coming back, but I don't think he is. So I'm gonna scoot this over so I can be more centered again. There we go. There we go. Okay. That's a little better. Um, uh, I have 20 chests dedicated to insects. Wow. One for each type. One for soon-to-come animals and insects. Dang. That's pretty intense. So, I don't think I would feel the need to go that kind of route right now. I think that might be overkill for me personally. Just because I don't expect to kill that many insects. Um, I expect to dodge more than kill. Um, let me throw... Should I throw thistle needles in there? Let me just put the thistle needles over here for now. And I'll figure out where I want to put them later. Let's just go and see if I have time. Yeah. Let's go and grab more of our stuff. To migrate it. Okay. Oh man, I just got like a little nervous for my kids today. Today's the first day of school and it's 100% remote. So, and they're going to be on like live webcam sessions with their teachers all day. All right. Did I get everything? Yep. Everything's good up there. Alright, let's grab some of this other stuff. 
So we can grab the rest of the stuff in there. That's empty. That's empty. Empty. Uh, sure, why not? That is now empty as well. Beautiful. Not bad. Uh, what's your specific time you stream again? I know while your family's sleeping before your kids get up, but if I was attempting to come back tomorrow, what time would you be on? I would be on at 4.30 a.m. U.S. Eastern Time. You're, you said you're in Florida, right? So we're in the same time zone. 4.30 a.m. I know, it's wicked early. Most of the people that watch me are, like, in Europe or Asia. So, Europe, Asia, Australia, New Zealand, those are the folks that usually tune into my streams. It's very rare that I have U.S. residents in my streams. That was 100% a spider on my leg just now. This is the nature of my desk being in a basement that's unfinished. Alright, here we go. Now we can... Let's just focus on dropping the rest of our stuff off first. I can... So nectar, that's another thing too. Like, what is nectar used for? That is, that is definitely something I need to know. What is nectar used for? Is that a raw resource worth collecting? Or should I not be worrying about it? Should that go in a random chest? Or should it have a dedicated chest? I'm basically nocturnal. Uh, you eat it. Okay, so it's a food. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, I got insomnia, so I have a really weird sleep schedule, but I'm thinking of maybe playing Among Us in a little bit. Gotcha. Gotcha. Let me see if... Oh, dang. That's not what I meant to do. All right, let me see if we can get another another trip or two of resources migrated. So if I go, you you seem really cool that I might turn into be regular. That'd be awesome, man. That'd be awesome, King. I appreciate that. Did you, uh, did you discover us through just searching around, or did you come in on the Nyrethia raid? You started, you started talking up in chat, like, shortly after Nyrethia raided us, so I wasn't sure if you came in on the raid, or if, uh, you just kind of searched around looking. Just, I'm just curious, that's all. I'm just curious. Just searching? Cool, cool, nice. We'll welcome again, and, uh, yeah, that'd be awesome if you became became a regular just don't be scared to, to you know speak up in chat i know you said you don't typically do that but you know don't um don't steer away if if you got something to say speak up i i welcome the company i welcome the company all right now we got bug parts we got to deal with all right what time is it in the game all right maybe we just mm, i'm gonna save real quick i think we can make a trip I think we can make it back. We should be able to make it back just fine before nightfall. Just trying to find people to play this game? Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, the game isn't streamed too much anymore. Now that the game's been out for a month or so... Or almost a month, rather. I don't remember. It's it was end of July, right? End of July when it came out. So it's been out. It's been out over a month now. Um, the I mean, crafting survival games are hit or miss. You know, on how popular they get. Grounded is super popular for a very niche audience. From what I've found. It didn't quite get as big of. A following as like Ark or Subnautica or those types of games, right? So, yeah. 
Alright, so don't put nectar up there. That makes sense then. Oh, there. Now it's night. I just want to transfer all this stuff right now. I'll worry about um, organizing it later. I want to get it at least into this new base. I should have brought over my food. That would have made more sense. I need to make a new dew collector too. Yeah, yeah, I gotta make a new dew, dew collector. All right, let's sleep real quick. I'm, ready to eat my I'm gonna put a so few tired. dew collectors as well. I would believe the reason is because, unlike Subnautica, most of the story isn't even made yet. That's a valid point, yes. No, that's a valid point. Like, for the same reason that a ton of people aren't streaming Subnautica Below Zero yet. Because the game is still being made. I don't know if Below Zero is ever going to officially come out. I think that one's going to stay in early for a while. Okay, so I think I'm going to put up some dew collectors on this side, maybe. Because the main entrance is over here. I mean, I don't even really know where the main entrance is, per se. Maybe I'll... But yeah, I think I should put do collectors on this side. I just feel like that's where they're supposed to go. I guess they could go over here, though. I know it's almost time to leave. You might as well go back, back up, bud. I'm going to stop here in a sec, okay? Okay, well, I scooted your stuff over, so. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna have to scoot you over again, though, or you're not gonna be able to be seen. There you go. Um, I hope you have an amazing rest of your stream. I think I'm going to head out. All right, no worries. No worries. Have a good one. Thanks for swinging by. Thanks for all the chat and keeping me company as long as you did. I appreciate it. Uh, where are my dew collectors? There they are. Dew collector. Ooh, those are bigger than I thought they were. Those are bigger than I remember. Hmm. Maybe... Yeah, where are they gonna go? Can I put them over... Why is this shaking so much? Man, okay. That's not cool. I guess I can put them here. I can put like one here and one on the other side. I put one here and then one here. That's not bad. Yep, that's not bad. Okay. Oh no, I can't put one there because that's where I fall. And. Why do you need two? Ideally, I want more than one because I want to be able to fill my water container up and I want to be able to fill my canteen up whenever I need to and I just it's it's always nice having more than one. <laughs> That's you. I don't like that they won't stay up right there. What if I put them... Hmm. What if I put them right here? One there, and then 
One here. And one here. What would that look like? I don't... Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. I think I can still walk this way. Man, I need a lot of weed stems for them. That's okay. I've got a good source of dandelions there that respawn every couple days. And then uh, there are dandelions everywhere else, too. So I'll put those there, and then I'll put a water collect or water container, rather. Hmm. Or should I just have two? Maybe I'll just have two and put a water container between the two of them. Or, let's get rid of this one, and then we'll put a water container right here, because then it'll be, like, on my way out. Yeah, I like that. I like that idea, having a water container right there, and then I need my mushroom farms somewhere. I need multiple mushroom farms... Mushroom garden. Hmm. Oh, nope, that's that's too far. that look like so if I walk in I would have a little bit of space here I've got a couple mushroom gardens that's not bad <clears throat> excuse me sorry and then I can still get this way I can still access that just fine on this side I can walk in this way access the dew from this side or even potentially that side there's my water container um, because now what I'm thinking is I need chest locations, right? So, maybe one like near the tower. Well, I want all my chests to be in the same spot, uh, which speaking of, I'm going to get rid of all these. I need to take all this stuff. Oh, I'm starting to get hurt because I need to drink something. That was refreshing. So let me drop off this stuff real quick. Yep. Oh no, I've got a bunch of grass fiber, plant fiber that I can drop off. Beautiful. I like that. Let's make the rest into plant fibers. Into woven fibers, rather. I have a full chest of 20 stack or 40 stacks, I think it is, right? 40 stacks. So 400 plant fibers. All right, isn't this 40 stacks? I think this is 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, 40. 40 times 10, 400. So I got 400 of those. And then we've got those. We can drop those off. Yeah, let's get rid of these chests down here. Now that we don't need them anymore. Uh, we've got a spot for this, for some of this stuff. Those, we'll craft all of these into woven fibers as well. <coughs> oh, this is going to take a little while. go. <clears throat> I haven't had my milk yet. Really? Mm -mm. Okay, well, you've got time, so it's not even 8 o'clock yet, bud. 
I just finished my granola bar. We'll throw that in there. We'll put this over here. We'll put the quartzite away as well. Daddy. Well, bum. Can I put this here? Yes. We'll take the rest of that and then the rest of this. And what else do we have in our inventory? We've got more plant fibers. So this is this is actually really good. So this is stocking us up nicely. Because inevitably we'll need this stuff. When we feel like we don't need it is when we're really gonna need it. Okay. And we can drop this stuff off there. Beautiful. Like it. Okay. And we've got some acorny stuff. And then we've got some more acorny stuff. The we've got flower petal. We've got a spot for flower petals. Um, the rest of this will just go in a chest somewhere down here for now while I'm working on organizing the stuff. Okay, so now these chests down here, I can get rid of. Oh, wait, now I can get rid of them. Yep. Um. Beautiful. I like it. Okay. What else is in our inventory? We've got woven fibers, plant fibers. There we go. I'll throw this down here for whenever we get more plant fibers. We'll put that away. We'll put these away. Look at that. That's getting that a whole lot cleaner as well. I like it. So we've got these two is what we'll plan to have um, a container here what I'm kind of wondering is what if I put in a spot for it for chests and so like what I need is what I'm thinking is the chests that are down here are going to be food chests I think I, I don't know actually I don't even actually I, yeah I don't even know you should probably do it for both upstairs and downstairs so you don't have to run all the way downstairs just to get food or run all the way upstairs to get food you just have to go there depending on whichever side you are on yeah i see what you're saying bud but i'm thinking i don't know why these are here um oops I see. I know what you're saying, but I think I would rather have the chests just up here. Um, originally, I was thinking putting the chests down there because that's where they are, but I think I'd rather have any kind of storage. The only reason the water is going to stay down there is because it would be very, very tedious to get two drops of water, run it up there to drop it off. Two drops of water, run it up there to drop it off. Two drops of water, run it up there to drop it off. So... That makes more sense to keep the water container down here, but I think the, the food storage can be up there. I think that makes more sense. We just gotta figure out where I want the food storage to be. And they can be little too, like they don't have to be huge, like the big chests, they can be little chests. Um, but where do I want them is the question. I don't think I necessarily want them on the front because I almost never go f up front here. All of my storage is in the back. The front here is more for looks. So I might put like couches or chairs or something up here. Um, so I want a chest right here, but I want it to be a big chest and that's gonna be like my random drop chest. Oh, I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put my workbench and stuff too. I think I'm gonna have to get braces I think so too, yes. 
Is my tooth is crooked? Yes, it is. Um, where can my workbench? Go? Oh, dang, man! Like that's the other thing too. Is like I'm gonna put a bed, but I want it on a second floor. So then, like, where are my stairs gonna go? I don't know. I was thinking of putting stairs, like, on both sides here. Then how do you get to the other side? Hmm? How do you get to the other side? What do you mean? If there's no, they would go up, so I'd be able to walk under the stairs. Oh. They'd go on both sides, like, evenly. Like, I'd... I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I need water. Okay. Um, but that would be... That would be just for looks and for where I sleep. So that would not be my work area. My main work area would be back here, is what I'm thinking. Which means I need my work my workbench back here. Workbench. So where's the workbench going to go? Here? Or there? Or maybe my workbench can go right here. That wouldn't be bad. Except it's blocking the window. It doesn't have... I mean, it's fine. It can block the window. That's okay. If I put it here... That's that's even, right? Mostly even? Yeah. Okay. So if, it, if I put it there, then that's a good crafting spot. Um, but then I need chests. I can put some chests here, and some chests here. Um, and I can make them the little chests. They don't have to be the big ones. So if I put... One... Daddy? What, bub? What's the difference between um, those two? The one that says 9,560 spooks and... Eight. eight. So eight is all the people that are watching right now. 9,566 is all the people that have ever watched any of my stuff. Uh-oh. I think I can fit five against this wall. That's not the most even of things, but that'll work. And then I can walk this way, yep. So I'll put five there, and then I might put five over here too, and maybe that will be for food stuff. Maybe these will be for food types. Oh, what, what is going on? Okay. So we'll put the first one here. One. Come on. I brought my bracelet. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Two. Three. Come on. Four. And... Five. All right. I like that. And that just takes clover leaves and woven fibers. Clover leaves and woven fibers. Now you're out of water. I know, I know. How many of these can I make right now with just what I've currently got in my inventory? I think I'm going to do these first. Nice, I can make all of them. That is wonderful. I like that a lot. Okay. And then what does this take? Grass planks, sprigs, and sap. Grass planks, sprigs, and sap. Sprigs. Sap. 
Oh, you put it in. God. Yeah, you're right, I did. Bam. There we go. Okay. Ta-da! Wonderful. <coughs> Bless you. Okay. No, that's awesome. What? Now get some water. Well, the water's all at the other place. So we will head back to the other place now. Do you remember me telling you that you can't die from hunger and thirst, bud? Yeah. So that's why I was I wasn't that worried about it. Well you can die. What? You can know. How? In this game. What do you mean? You, you can die by th hunger and No, thirst. that's what I'm saying. You can't. What? That's what I'm saying. You can't die from hunger and thirst in this game. Huh? Your health is... My health is going down right now, but my health will go down to 1 HP. It won't kill me just because I'm hungry or thirsty. It just drains my health down. There's no women crying, but... In real life, you can. In real life, you can absolutely die from hunger and thirst. This will take a long time. Um, you can only survive a couple days without water, bud. I think it's like three days. If you go three days without any kind of thirst quench, then you will die. Oh, I thought it was like in the Bible. You thought what? I thought it was like in the Bible. Um... No, in like in today's world, you can't die. You you'll die with just a couple days without water. All right, y'all. I think we're gonna close up here because I've got to get him over to um, my mom's house, house where he's going to start his first day of school. So there we go. Saved there. Let's quit to the main menu. Transition to this scene. Oh, man. <sighs> oh, I'm tired, y'all. Oh, I don't even know what I have on my plate today for work. I'll be honest with y'all. I, I honestly don't know what I have on my plate for work today. Hopefully it's not crazy. Um, folks, I want to remind everybody of the Golden Acorn. I did finally post the Golden Nutcracker last week, uh, uh, for last week. I didn't post it till yesterday. I know it was super late, but it is posted on the YouTube channel. But the Golden Acorn for this week um, is our fifth Golden Acorn. Yeah, I put it through there to make it easier to get. Oh, well, there, there went that. Sorry. Mm -hmm. um, the Golden Acorn for this week was Golden Acorn number five from Confucius. Can I? Can you read it? Um, it doesn't matter how slow you go as long as you don't stop. Confucius. That's hard. I know, that's say. just, that was his name. It doesn't matter how slow you go as long as you don't stop. Folks, we're talking about progress. Uh, whatever goals you may have, whatever goals you plan to set for yourself, don't be discouraged if the progress seems little. Any progress is progress. Be encouraged knowing that you're making steps forward, that you're taking steps forward, that you're reaching your goal, however slow it may be. Tortoise in the hare, y'all. Slow and steady wins the race. Be encouraged by that today and this week is the golden acorn number five from Confucius. That's what everybody says. What? Slow and steady wins the race. I know, it's a really it's a really old saying. It's a really old saying. All right, y'all. Let's see who's on right now. Let's see who's on right now. I'll go ahead and pop these in chat as well. 
We'll, uh, we'll set up for a raid here. Copy paste those into chat. Let's see who we can raid up today. Let's see who's online. Hmm. Let's see. A lot of the folks that are usually online right now aren't, actually. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's see who's playing Grounded. Let's take a look and see if anyone else is playing Grounded that looks interesting that we might want to raid. And speaking of, speaking of that as well, um, what do I have? Is it Mature? Is that my thing? The channel we are about to raid may or may not be family friendly, yes. So let's duly note of that. All right, let's take a look here. Da, 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 da. Um, first play. Sorry if I scream. Sparkle Siren. Sparkle Siren. We are going to raid Sparkle Siren, y'all. So join in that raid. Raid Sparkle Siren. <coughs> it does actually say this is intended for mature audiences. Do join in that raid, folks. Thanks for everything. You guys are absolutely amazing. As always, stay squirrely, and we will catch you guys next time.